it never occurred to me that I could, that I could actually have a, a career as an actor, let alone a career on film. It seemed the most unlikely thing. That's partly geographical, you know. I come from as far away from any kind of film industry as you could possibly imagine in those days. Now, nowadays people make films in New Zealand, but they didn't then. So the idea of actually being a real actor in real films was unthinkable. So I sort of learnt on the job and I kind of stumbled into film, really. I was acting at university and then I found um, that I could get the odd part-time, you know, the odd job in, uh, in the theatre. But there wasn't enough work as an actor in New Zealand those days, so I, I worked for a documentary film company, government documentary film company, for about seven years. And uh, they would give me time off, I would go away and do other people's little films. And then one day Roger Donaldson asked me to be the lead in a feature film. And I did that. I wasn't very good in it, but it was a feature film. And no one had done a feature film in New Zealand for 17 years. And then I went back to work for a year. Uh, and then I was offered a job in Australia. And I thought, I'm going to resign my job as a rather indifferent <laughs> documentary filmmaker. And uh, I'm going to go to Australia and see if I can make a living as an actor. So I started quite late. I think I was 29 when I got to Australia. So that was when I was first committed to being a full-time actor. And to my complete surprise, I've been sort of in work ever since. No one's more surprised than me. Walking onto film set was not in any way unfamiliar to me because I was, I'd been working in documentaries. So I was familiar with everything about film really and I've always been I'm, I've always been comfortable on a film set I've always been comfortable with film crews the camera I've always regarded as my close ally if not a close friend <laughs> I'm always uh, nervous the first day I walk on a set always uh, but I think if you're not a little nervous then you're probably complacent and you should probably go home and work up a bit of nervousness. <laughs> I also love working with um, a new bunch of actors every time. Sometimes, I, you know, you get to you have the privilege of working with people on multiple occasions. I've done three films with Willem Dafoe, for instance, so we're good friends. But it's always great to have a new bunch of actors. I love the company of actors. I like sitting around telling stories with actors and listening to other people's stories and, and being in unfamiliar places and uh, exploring new worlds. A actors always talk about um, making choices and things. The truth is that most actors really don't have as much choices as they'd like. You know, sometimes there's four scripts on your desk and sometimes there's nothing. Suddenly a script comes through the door and you think, I've never been there before, and um, it's not a great part, but maybe I can make something of it. Uh, what do I look for in a part? Obviously, uh, complexity, and if the complexity isn't there, I like to make it complex if I can. Uh, I don't really see any characters as being particularly black or white. I don't think there's such a such a thing as a perfectly good person or a perfectly bad person. I think someone, you know, every villain has his reasons and every good guy has his flaws. Uh, I like ambivalence. I think it's more interesting to play. And if it's not there, I'll try and put, put some in. <laughs> See if I can get away with it. A lot of directors think casting is really it. You cast the right guy and they know what to do. And there's a sort of sense in that, in some ways, you know. Um, so when I, you start a new project, it's always best to be prepared because you don't know if you're going to be directed or not. But I think a lot of directors miss the opportunity of collaborating with, it, with actors. Actors love to be, you know, have a discussion about uh, and see if we can 
contribute something that um, perhaps no one's thought about before. Uh, but very often uh, uh, directors sit behind their monitors and kind of let you do what you have to do. So you have to be prepared for that. And, but I much prefer to be on a set where a director wants to talk to me, where, you, where, where, we, where it genuinely becomes a collaboration. And those are the most, it's much more fun to be directed. I think there's a lot to be said for, for long form television. And there's sort of great opportunities for actors to build characters because you've got, you've got more time to, <laughs> to work with that guy, whoever he is. I actually kind of prefer the speed of something like Peaky Blinders where you're, where you're doing an hour every nine or ten days. It's pretty, pretty amazing. I mean, that would be... That's unthinkable in the feature film world, but from an actor's point of view, you're working really, you hardly have time to sit down, you're working like the clappers, and uh, there's no time to get bored and sit around your trailer and get disgruntled. There's a lot of disgruntled people sitting in trailers. <laughs> Plan B is really a good idea. So I would always say, learn how to do something else. It's a tough business if you're not in regular work. You need to know how to do something else. Of course, uh, there's always the other, there's plan C, which is generate the work yourself. For instance, you know, Taika Waititi, who wrote and directed Hunt for the Wilder People, has generated his own work. Like the Flight of the Concords guys. All these people write and direct and, and produce their own work, and that's fantastic. So, uh, and there are so many platforms now that you can get, that you can get started on. You can make a film on an iPod and put it on YouTube and the next thing you know, you're directing The Avengers number seven. <laughs> this is what can happen. So, uh, that, you know, don't wait for the phone to ring. You, you, you pick up the phone and do it yourself just because I've had a lot of experience, it certainly doesn't mean that there are certain things that I'm really getting right or, or, or nailing. I mean, I would almost hope the opposite because I want to always be finding new ways of being able to collaborate and being able to be um, included and involved and excited and, 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 and passionate.